Hi, and welcome to Crowdmark. Crowdmark is a grading and assessment system designed to enable educators to grade three times faster while leaving richer feedback for students. In this short video, we will give you a behind the curtains look at the grading interface. We'll show you how students are gonna benefit from using Crowdmark, and we'll share with you that no matter what your classroom looks like this year, we've got you covered. So let's get started. First things first, we're gonna go into our course. We can see a few different assessments here. And in this case, we're gonna go into math remote assessment. Over here, you are gonna see that Crowdmark organizes its grading by question. The reasons for this are twofold. One, more consistent feedback, and two, it tends to be faster. Let's go into question one. In this case, you're gonna see that a student has written down their answer on a piece of paper, taken a picture of it, and uploaded it to Crowdmark. What this means for remote assessments is that all a student needs to complete an assignment on Crowdmark is a piece of paper, a pen, and a smartphone. There are also other question types available for remote assessments. Text entry, which supports file attachments, and multiple choice, which is automatically graded. Crowdmark also supports in-person assessments, where students will complete their work in a classroom, their work gets scanned into Crowdmark, and then graded digitally with the same tools that I'm about to show you. Whether your classroom is in-person, remote, or hybrid, we can help. Let's dive into these grading tools. Over to the left, you'll see this pencil, which is also compatible with a stylus pen if you're using a tablet. I also have these stamps available. I can change color. And I can highlight. Anything that I want to remove, I can do so easily by using this trash bin. I can also leave comments on the fly by using this icon. In this case, I'm going to tell my student that they have done great work. Once I've added that comment, I can see that it has been saved to my comment library. As I scroll up the comment library, you'll also see that there are more comments here, which I've actually uploaded with a CSV file and shared with my grading team. So what that means is that you can upload your grading guidelines beforehand with a CSV file and any new comments are automatically added and can be shared across the team for consistency and less duplication of efforts. So using this comment library, we are gonna give this student some feedback. I'm gonna drop in this equation. Crowdmark supports Markdown and LaTeX. I am going to remind the student that they can check their, their solution by graphing. I'm gonna drop in this resource where they can get some help with factoring. You'll also see that some of these comments have little numbers beside them. Green is associated with positive point values, red with negative point values. In this case, let's assume that I wanna give two points for two correct roots, another two points for being correctly factored, but I wanna remove 0.5 points because there was a sign error. Now the student will benefit from the feedback we've provided and know exactly where they need to improve next time. Once I'm done, I'm gonna press enter and move on to the next ungraded question. What I mean by that is that if you have a grading team grading an assessment at the same time, if someone is already looking at the next booklet, Crowdmark will skip over that assessment and go to the next one. So Crowdmark is extremely conducive to collaborative grading. I'm gonna drop in a few more comments here and I'm going to give them some feedback. I'm gonna press enter and I'm gonna move on. Now this is a phenomenal answer. Look at that detail. So before I grade, I'm gonna tag this one as example because I wanna share this with my class. I can filter other tags by going to this filter evaluations button. So I can tag by my examples, or maybe there's a tag here that needs a second set of eyes if you have a new grading team, for instance. Or you can uh, tag an instance where you suspect a, cheated, a student may have cheated. This is also a perfect answer, which is making me reevaluate re the point values that I've given up to this stage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my comment library. I'm gonna go to this correct root comment and I'm gonna change the point value from two to one. What that's gonna do is once I press save, I'm going to batch edit all the instances that this comment has been made. That means that I don't need to go back one by one and manually change it. Once I press save, that has been changed. 
and I am good to go. I'm gonna give four points here. I'm gonna say great work, keep it up. And at this point, I wanna see how much more grading I have left. So I'm gonna to go to my overview grid and I see I have one more submission. I'm gonna press enter. I'm gonna use my keypad to grade again. I'm going to drop in some comments. And that's it. I am done grading question one. I'm gonna go back into math remote assessment where I can see that it took me nine minutes to grade at 31 evaluations per hour. At this point, I'm gonna go into my results because I wanna return the, my, the grades back to the students. First, I'm gonna to go to edit. I'm gonna say great work. I'm gonna to choose to include the distribution of scores graph, which can be found below. And I'm gonna send the grades to students. Once my students log in, they're gonna see all that feedback that we just gave to them. So they know exactly where they need to focus on next time. Students also have access to a student report, which will show them how they're progressing in the class, the specific questions they've done really well on, and the ones they need to work on so they can focus on them in preparation for their final assignment. As a last step, let's talk about how easy it is to create an assessment. In this case, I'm gonna to go to create assessment and I'm gonna call this final exam. At this stage, I now have two options. Administered assessments are designed to be completed in person. You'll upload your assessment into Crowdmark and a cover page will be added, which will use optical character recognition to read the student's name and student number to match their booklet to them. A QR code will also be added to each page of the booklet and will indicate to Crowdmark that each page of the booklet belongs to a particular student. What this also means is that if you dropped the sheets of paper all over the floor and they go out of order, Crowdmark will automatically sort them where they're supposed to be. Students will write their answer on a piece of paper and the assessment will get scanned into Crowdmark. Once it's scanned, you'll use the same annotation tools we just covered to grade. As a reminder, administered assessments also support bubble sheets, which are automatically graded. Assigned remote assessments are flexible. They can be used for exams, homework, and even group work. Assigned assessments can be synchronous, where all the students write at the same time, or asynchronous, where students can write any time they'd like, so long as it is completed in the time frame you've given them and before the due date. Questions also support LaTeX, Markdown, and attachments. That is a high level overview of Crowdmark. There is a lot more that we can show you, but the bottom line is that Crowdmark will save you time, your grading team's time, and help students learn and develop in your class. If you are sitting here thinking, this all looks great, but will take me forever to get started, we can get you up and running in just a few hours. We wish you all the best with your teaching and grading this year, and if it's something you think we can help you with, please give us a shout at info at crowdmark.com.